welcome fans of flip clocks. Today we have a clock that caught my eye off on eBay and it didn't cost very much and I really liked the shape. So I had to get it and see what we had. Well what we have is a dirty clock so we're going to try to fix that. This is a model 7070 Sears and Roebuck and Company flip clock. And it's called, uh, it's got a name on it that says Tradition. So we're going to take a look at this clock and try to get it apart and clean it up. It's, uh, that's how it flips there with the knob in the front. Now here on the outside rim here, that's how you turn it to set the alarm. Now that's pretty unique. I like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out how to take this apart. If you ever get a hold of one of these, maybe this will help you out. Now the clock, it's reminiscent of the Cifra 3, the Solari Udine uh, clock that's got that's uh, one of the first famous flip clocks. You can see where they stole their styling from. Maybe that's why I like it. But anyway, we've got the clock here, and we're going to take a look at it. Of course, the first thing you got to do is take some screws out, and that's what we'll do. As I'm eyeballing it here, I'm seeing those tabs on either side of the screw there. And I'm figuring it's going to involve something with that. Now I've struggled a little bit getting the screws out. I'm not sure why uh, they don't want to come out. After a while, I just went ahead and took a magnet here on this, on this screw bit. It was strong enough, the magnet was strong enough to pull that machine screw out. So now what we do is that, like there's no user manual for this clock anywhere and I've got to try to figure this out. And when you're doing this, if you're, if you've got a clock and you're going to be the first one to ever take it apart as far as you know, you just got to study it for a while. We don't know how brittle this plastic is. We don't know exactly how to take it apart. So I'm trying to see if there's any give here, where it's going to give and what's going to be the technique. You know, I will tell you, I've had to stop the video a couple times because I'm just struggling with getting this apart without breaking it. So I'm going to think about pulling up on that edge there as I push down with my thumb. And on my right thumb, I'm actually pushing down on that base to try to depress that somewhat. As you can see, the tab is actually connected to the front part. Now, the whole time I'm doing this, I'm waiting for it to crack. I'm going to ruin a clock, one that I've never seen before and I'm not going to find another one most likely so you're seeing a lot of the struggling but you're probably only seeing about about a third of, of actually how long it took me eventually I'm going to get this get this going here okay so I'm, I tried this flathead screwdriver to depress it a little bit uh, I really don't want to do that because that ends up scratching things now I've got it I finally off camera I, I uh, pried it up and I did like I said push down uh, on that side right there with my left thumb a little depression with the screwdriver carefully and let's see if we can get it open Crack it sounded like I was cracking an egg open. I'm kind of looking and seeing well Did I mess anything up and I don't see I don't think that it did now Here's where a lot of people will go wrong on a clock. They'll just crank it open like it's a clamshell You can see here it, it worked it loose and it came right out And this is the first time I've had it open you can see some spiders or something in there but this is striking i mean look at this i've never seen colors like this before and i i just have to wonder why they would use smoke glass on something with such a awesome clock now they used a neon glow bulb and it, and we'll have to replace that i'm kind of looking here too i'm looking to see a lot of times well the, with the japan made clocks and this is a hong kong clock where they where they, where would they stick the country of manufacture and usually it's on a zero or on 10 i've seen it on 11. we'll find out later where they hid that so you can see i'm going to get this all cleaned up and try to see how good we can get this and that's that just came right off like a disc there we want to get this face out because you can see a lot of dirt around there so i've got to try to figure that out again we just have to study it and you're looking, I'm looking and I'm seeing there's no give at all. So I see this front piece here that looks like it wants to come out. And on either side, it almost looks like tabs. So it looks like it was pressed down in there and these tabs caught it. So I'm gonna push out. I've gotta get that out because there's some 
it's blackened on the inside. So what I figured out eventually was that yes, what I'm gonna do is right out here, I'm gonna push outward with my thumb as I kind of pry this up. Taking my time, because I don't wanna to do too much excursion here. I don't wanna crack it. And you see that, that actually worked. And I'm thinking that once I get this front piece off, the glass will follow. It says tradition. And it does, it just comes clean. We'll work on it a little bit, but you know, that's just real dark, smoky glass. I really think it was a poor choice because it looks so awesome, the, the colors. And there it is, tradition. Sears and Roebuck. Back when Sears and Roebuck was a cool place. Sad to say. What we've got here, this is a neon glow bulb assembly that I have assembled using spec parts. I mean, this is high quality stuff. I wanted to make one that was just like the other ones. And I'll show you why you need to replace it, or I need to replace it here. So the new ones have got a lot more brightness. There's the old one, and there's the new one. You can see how much, it's like a spotlight with orange. So now that's its uh, former glory. That's what the old one would look like. We want to replace that with this new assembly. I'll have to cut back the clear tube a little bit so that it fits nicely, and then we'll have to cut these off. These aren't forgiving. You can't get those off, and we'll replace them with plain uh, the, the electric nuts, the screw nuts there. Motor's working great, so that won't be a problem. Well, we've got the new glow bulb in there. And you can see where I've replaced it. Pretty straightforward. Nothing fancy there. And got enough clearance there. So we're good. Bulb's in a good place. Give us some best lighting we can get. And hopefully it'll look a little better. Double checking the motor. It starts right up. And yeah, it's definitely better on the on the glow, on the lighting. So we'll see how that turns out. And in the process, I did find out, you guys may have noticed it when you're watching the video, but I've never seen one here. And there it is. The uh, country of manufacturers on the 30 in this clock. It's interesting. So after all this and cleaning and stuff, we ended up with a pretty good looking clock overall. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.